seventh problem a heat engine x operates between a reservoir at 1000 degrees centigrade 2000 i will say add 273 so 1000 273 kelvin and a body a so this is the heat engine x and a body a at 600 that is it is in 873 kelvin okay heat transfer to the engine is 1000 kilojoules and the work output of this is 220 kilojoules another engine y okay operates between body a that means this, this is y here operates between body a and the atmosphere at 27 degrees 27 means 300 kelvin this is atmosphere so this is rejecting heat here heat rejected by y to the atmosphere is 400 kilojoules that is given okay and this does some work i'll say this is wy okay and um, i'll say this is qcx and this is q h y okay the body a maintains its temperature steadily at 600 degree centigrade that is 800 kelvin it maintains steadily that means the heat how can it maintain uh, this is a body a finite uh, mass and heat capacity so some heat is coming in so the temperature will tend to rise some heat is rejected by this or received by y that means the temperature will increase and decrease correct now if the heat transfer to the block or body a and the heat transfer from the body a if they are equal then only the temperature can be 873 kelvin or 600 degree centigrade and uh, this body has heat interactions only with the two engines okay now you can say that that may be some heat addition so for example if the heat given to the engine and uh, taken by y okay the given from the engine x and taken by the engine y they are different the rest can be from the atmosphere but it is clearly given that the heat interaction for the body a is only with the engine x and y so calculate the work output and thermal efficiency of that is i want to calculate wy and uh, thermal efficiency of y which is equal to w y divided by q h y these are the two things i want to calculate compare the efficiency with the carnot cycle operating with the same heat source and sink that we can do for see compare the efficiency of y with the carnot cycle carnot cycle operating between 873 and 300 we can calculate and do it so this is the given data here so let us say for x w equal to q h x minus q c x so this is 200 w x so 220 is given 220 equal to 1000 minus q c x or i can say q c x equal to Seven eighty kilojoules. That is got. Now, since the body A maintains its temperature at six hundred degree centigrade or eight seventy three Kelvin. only by interacting with the engines x and y 
the heat rejected by x has to be transferred to y so i can say q h y should be equal to q c x equal to 780 kilo joules so that is done so we can easily calculate the so this is the important point here so the body a which is interacting only with x and y and maintain its temperature at 600 degrees it's possible only when the heat received by a should be rejected by a that is received by a from x should be rejected by a to y this is the important key so once you know this then i can write this statement q h y equal to q c x so without that we cannot solve this problem okay so what happens now q c y is given here q c y is given as 400 kilo joules so that implies w y will be equal to 780 so i'll write first q h y minus q c y equal to 780 minus 400 equal to 380 kilo joules so that is the work first one is work then thermal efficiency second is thermal efficiency of y will be equal to what so i'll write in the next page thermal efficiency of y will be equal to wy divided by q h y so that is equal to 380 380 divided by 780 equal to 0.4871 okay now for a carnot cycle operating between uh these two temperatures that is what 873 kelvin and the ambient temperature of 300 kelvin the efficiency of carnot can be found as 1 minus 300 by 873 which is equal to 0.6563 so now we so it is clear that the efficiency of the real cycle real or reversible cycle is less than that of the carnot cycle so here if you find the carnot efficiency to be lesser than what you get here in the actual cycle then the cycle is not possible please understand this okay so the efficiency of the cycle can match so for example carnot cycle efficiency also can be 0.4871 then it is fine or it is it can be greater like 0.6563 it is fine but carnot efficiency cannot be 0.45 then the the cycle what we have worked on will be impossible okay so that is very important to understand so all the reversible cycles will have more efficiency than the corresponding irreversible cycles operating between the same temperature a source and sink temperatures that is what is in this problem so you can see that these are problems where the engines are connected in series and that is the intermediate source or sink okay so for example for x the body a becomes sink and for y the body a becomes source now different heat transfers the qzx and qhy can be different in that case if this is a is not a reservoir please understand that if a is a reservoir 
that means it has huge thermal capacity mass into specific heat then the temperature will not change but if uh, a is a finite body like a body if you say is a finite body of finite mass and thermal capacity then the heat transfer from the engine x will tend to increase the ten temperature of a and the heat rejected by a to engine y will cause the temperature to decrease okay, so that is the important point to find here finite so this 1000 degrees that is 1000 degrees and uh, the ambient or infinite temperature reservoirs infinite temperature that means that the thermal capacity is very high the temperature will not change by the heat transfer given to x or heat transfer from y to the ambient but on the other hand for a finite body which has a smaller mass and a specific heat then the corresponding heat transfers to the body will tend to increase the temperature of the body or from the body will tend to decrease in this case it's clearly given that the body interacts only with x and y as well as its temperature is maintained constant that is possible only when the heat received by the body from x is equal to the heat rejected by the body to y okay so this is very important to understand then only we can write that q h y equal to q c x okay so if a is a reservoir then this need not be true Did, uh, like uh, we cannot say that q c x should be equal to q h y it can be different like in the previous problem here <coughs> this may be a single reservoir so you can see that the heat rejected by the engine q c e and uh, heat taken by the heat pump q c p they are different not only they are different that is two times this this is possible so the eighth problem a house is to be maintained at 27 degrees centigrade when the outside ambient temperature is 5 degrees it should be maintained so that means 300 kelvin ambient temperature is 5 degrees that is 278 kelvin now so you can see this this is a space which has to be maintained at 300 kelvin here and the ambient is 278 kelvin now, two methods or strategies are uh, considered here two strategies which are first one is operate a space heater so in the room put a space heater at 1 kilowatt power and operate it for 1 hour okay, that means see what is the heater it, it, it has some coils when electric current passes to that it becomes hotter and that will heat so the capacity or the power supplied to the heater is 1 kilowatt and it is operated for 1 hour that is one so normally which we use second is supply the same work that is 1 kilowatt work to a reversible heat pump reversible heat pump that means i will say there is a reversible heat pump which will receive q c p and reject to the room that is q h p to maintain the temperature 300 now this obviously will receive w h p which is equal to 1 kilowatt that's what because same power now this is also the technique again if you do this what will be the we want to know what will be the heat rejected to the room by this heat pump okay so supply the same work that is whp to a reversible heat pump that operates between ambient and house like this in each case determine the amount of heat that has been transferred to the house okay so this is the problem so how to do this first is cold temperature reservoir is at minus 5 degrees centigrade so minus 5 degrees so that is actually 268 minus 5 is a minus here okay minus 5 that is 268 kelvin and uh, ambient temperature which is 
sorry uh, the room temperature i will say tr will be at 27 degrees centigrade equal to 300 kelvin so this is tc is ambient temperature now this is what is given so first uh, the when you operate a space heater okay so when 1 kilowatt heater is operated for 1 hour the amount of heat transferred to the room room is how much 1 kilowatt into 3600 seconds or i can say 1 kilojoule per second into 3600 Second, which is equal to three thousand six hundred kilojoules. That is the amount of heat which is transferred. <coughs> so, what is the work supplied? One kilowatt is the work supplied, and uh, for operating one hour, three thousand six hundred kilojoules has been supplied. So that will be the Heat to be supplied. What is COP for this? COP in this case will be equal to again the water you supply as work as resulted as the heat supplied to the room. We have to consider the system properly. System which actually has the coils of the heater excluded that will give you the uh, delta T. So based upon temperature difference. So Here it will be three thousand six hundred divided by three thousand six hundred, which is equal to one. So COP will be one in this case. First case where you consider the space heater at one kilowatt uh, operating for one hour. The B, this case, the when you find use a reversible heat pump. So in this case, COP will be equal to I'll say heat pump will be equal to T. H divided by T because reversible, correct? T H minus T C since reversible. Okay, now that will be equal to what? That will be equal to three hundred divided by. So how we get this basically is because C O P of the heat pump will be equal to Q H P divided by W H P, correct? Or we can say Q H P divided by Q C P sorry Q H P minus Q C P. So now I can write this as one divided by one minus Q C P divided by Q H P, or I can say one divided by one minus T C by T H. So that is what I am getting here. So T H is three hundred and this is two sixty eight. So that will be nine point three seven five. So compare this for if you just use the space heater, you are supplying work of one kilowatt for one one kilowatt work for one hour. So what is the work supplied? One kilowatt that is one kilojoule per second into three thousand six hundred again. So that is getting transferred as the heat to the room. That's it. Okay, now if you consider this heat pump which works in a thermal inverter cycle, it has a COP of nine point three seven three, so which is about more than nine times. Okay, now what is the heat supplied for the same amount of work transfer? That is one kilowatt. Okay, what will be the so one kilowatt means what? That is for one hour. So I will say 
1 kilowatt into 1 hour. So, which is equal to 3600 kilojoules. The QH. So, here what is the heat supplied to the room? That is QHP, correct? So, QHP will be equal to COP into W because COP equal to QHP sorry QHP divided by W. So, this means since this is correct. So, this means COP is what 9.375 into 3600 which will be equal to 33750 kilojoules. So, when you just put the heat heater based upon its power rating if it is 1 kilowatt running for 1 hour 3600 kilojoules of work you supply and same amount of heat also will be supplied assuming there is no heat loss obviously heat loss should be there not be there in the case where you operate the reversible heat engine also now in the case of uh, heat pump your cop is about 9 times more, more than 9 times. So, that means you are supplying 9.375 times the heat which is supplied in case of the space heater. So, obviously, the better method or a better uh, thing to do is to run a heat pump. Uh, okay, one more point is this is reversible heat pump which we have considered here, correct. So, the COP is very high, but even if you use yeah, heat pump which is basically not ideal or not reversible, then also COP of the heat pump can be say 3 or 4. Even in that case, you are getting 3 to 4 times the heat which is transferred by with the help of a space heater. Okay, So, always it is better to do a run a heat pump and do the heating of the room instead of just using a space heater. A small room it is fine for bigger room or if you want to maintain this, this for one hour it is fine. If you want to maintain this for several uh, like, uh, several hours or 24 by 7 then based upon the temperature of the ambient etc. proper heat pump should be chosen and uh, heat, the room should be heated.